Okay, so in this class, we are going to discuss about the third method that is proof by method of contradiction. So let me write the title here. Proof by method of contradiction. So suppose you want to prove P implies Q. If you want to prove this implication, the method of contradiction says that you assume P, assume P and also assume negation Q. You assume both these things and then derive a contradiction. to the given assumptions. So we will assume two things. We will work with both of them together and try to show that one of the assumption is, is becoming wrong. Okay, one of the assumption is becoming wrong means what? One of it, it is opposite to one of the assumptions. Okay, means I will assume P, I will assume negation Q, I will simplify both of them. And when I get the result of that, that result should not match with my P or should not ma match with my above negation Q. Okay, some problem should occur there with our assumptions itself. So let, let us do one very simple problem first so that it will be easy to understand. So let me do the question one. show that if 3n plus 2 is odd then n is odd now this problem you can also solve by other methods you can solve by method of contraposition also you can even solve this problem you can try solving this problem by direct method but now we will solve it by the method of what we will try to solve it by the method of contradiction so what is p here p is 3n plus 2 is odd And Q is N is odd. P and negation Q. What is P? P is saying 3N plus 2 is odd. And second statement negation Q is N is even. Okay. Now we work on these assumptions. Work on these assumptions. So 3n plus 2 is odd and n is even means n is 2k. k is integer. If n is even, I will put it here. This means 3n means 3 2k, n is 2k plus 2 is odd and carried this statement same here but i have just replaced the n by what i have replaced the n by 2k this implies 6k plus 2 is odd this means 2 into 3k plus 1 is odd which means 2 into k dash. And what is k dash? k dash is 3k plus 1. Is odd. But we know that 2 into k dash plus 1 is odd, is wrong. So this is not true. This is not 
true that is we say that this is a contradiction therefore our assumption negation q is false therefore our assumption negation q is false what is negation q this assumption is not correct negation q is not correct means q is correct negation q is false means what that is q is true that is what is q what was our q q was n is odd that is n is odd is correct or is true hence the proof so this is the way you solve the problems of method of contradiction okay let me do one more problem if 3n plus 2 is even then show n is even again this problem can be solved by method of contraposition remember what is method of contraposition p implies q then negation q implies negation p but here in method of contradiction what you do you assume p also and you assume negation q and try to combine both of them and get a problem so what is the statement p here p is 3n plus 2 is even q is the statement n is even we'll assume two things assume first p as it is let us assume 3n plus 2 is even and n is odd negation q okay negation q means n is odd now take both both these assumptions and work on them out of which you know this assumption is correct this assumption is actually wrong we want to get a contradiction that because we this did this assumption wrong that is why this assumption also became wrong and that's why you can say that negation q is false is wrong option so 3n plus 2 3n plus 2 is even and n is odd means n is of the type 2k plus 1 where k is integer for 3n plus 2 is even becomes 3 into 2k plus 1 plus 2 is even this will become 6k plus 3 plus 2 is even and therefore this becomes 6k plus 5 is even this you can smartly split up into 6k plus 4 plus 1 because you want to one out right is even therefore this assumption will become 2 into 3k plus 2 plus 1 is even which means 2k dash plus 1 is even the k dash is integer but this is a contradiction this is not 
possible means this is wrong therefore negation q is false assumption that is q is true that is what is q q was what n is uh, even right therefore n is even is true okay so this is the second problem okay the next problem is uh, show that at least four of any 22 consecutive days must fall on the same day of the week okay <clears throat> so read the question carefully if you take any 22 consecutive days in a month okay go in a month take take some month in front of your eyes and try to uh, see any on 22 consecutive days okay so look at these uh, this month and pick up any 22 consecutive days now 22 consecutive days suppose i pick up four five okay so i have crossed all 22 consecutive days okay now <clears throat> what this problem says is that out of these consecutive days that is i have chosen from 4th to 24 25th okay at least four of these must fall on the same day look can you find a day in which you have four days crossed out if you look at sunday for sunday only two things are crossed 17th and 18th 24th monday you will find you have crossed out 4 11 18 and 25 so monday will come four times okay what about tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday these things are crossed out only how many times three times 6 13 20 17 14 21 so what is this exercise trying to tell you <clears throat> if you pick any 22 consecutive days in this slot of 22 days what will happen one day some one particular day now that one particular day in this example is which day that day is monday that day must occur how many times four times okay at least four you may have sometimes it may happen that even five days may also fall so it is saying what at least four of any 22 days must fall on the same day of the week. and which is that day here that day is monday suppose i choose another 22 days let me choose another 22 days from 1 to 22 so I will cross all those dates from 1 to 22. I have chosen these 22 days from 1 to 22. Okay. Now, which is that day which has occurred at least four times? If you look at Sunday, Sunday has occurred three times. Monday has occurred three times. Tuesday has occurred three times. Wednesday thursday all have occurred three times but friday has occurred what friday has occurred four times and saturday has also occurred three times so in that in this case if the dates are from first to 22nd then that one particular day is what that one particular day is friday so this will happen no matter which month you choose 
which which year you choose this thing will always happen that at least four of any consecutive days you choose in a, the days must be consecutive remember you cannot miss one day in between choose any two any consecutive days 22 days what should happen at least four of them must fall on the same day here in that case that same day is friday okay this is what we want to prove this exercise we want to prove now and this we will prove by the method of contradiction so how will i prove this let us see so suppose this statement is false suppose suppose the above statement is false okay what is the negation of the above statement at least four day of any consecutive days must fall on the same day of day what is the negation of the statement the negation of the statement is at most the negation of at least four is what at most three days right at least four means what four or more than four again i'll repeat at least four means four or more than four what is the negation of four or more than four the negation of four or more more than four is at max three it can be at most three so i will write that suppose at most three days fall on the same day of the given 22 days at most three days fall on the same day means what that is monday monday will occur how many times monday will occur maximum three times tuesday will also occur maximum three times because we are assuming that every day is coming at most Three days means not more than three. Okay, it may come two times also. Okay, but I'm saying maximum how many times Monday will come? Three times. Tuesday will come maximum how many times? Three times, and so on. Saturday will also come maximum how many times? It will occur how many times? Maximum three times. Sunday will also occur maximum how many times? Sunday will also up occur maximum three times. but how many days we have done we have done only 7 days we have only 7 days with us so this means maximum 7 into 3 which is 21 days are counted but how many days were we talking about we were talking about how many days we were talking about 22 days but this is a contradiction to the fact what was the fact to the fact that 22 days were chosen so this means that our assumption is wrong what have we assumed which assumption is wrong the assumption is wrong is this the above statement is false this is our assumption this assumption is wrong means the above statement is not false means the above statement is true therefore the above statement is true means if i choose 
any 22 consecutive days at least four of them must fall on the same day okay 